started. Okay, so the first thing I picked up is this Cover FX Total Cover Cream Foundation in shade G40. It's a sponge on my right side and my actual brush on my left side. Ooh, mm. You can't even see it. That means it's a perfect match. That's good. And this is very full coverage. Oh my god. Oh my god, do you see this? Oh my god, I like this. Good. Oh, you can see the difference. A little blemish up here. Let's see if it can cover this. It covered everything, which is good. Like my skin, it looks so pretty. Let me put it on my eyelids. Oh yeah, for sure. It covers. Look at that. La la la. Okay, I'm gonna do this side with this brush. Oh my god! I forgot! I feel like if I got the shade G50, it would make me look more tan, but then it wouldn't match my chest. I don't know. Do you think this is the right shade? So you tell me which side looks better. This side or this? It doesn't feel heavy. It's just, it looks very natural. It's not matte, it's not dewy, it's very natural finish. You could see like some shine, but it doesn't feel oily. For the foundation? Mm -hmm. It's the same foundation, it's just like I applied this side with brush and this side with the sponge. Sponge. This one looks better? Hmm. The brush is like, I can see the... Streaks? Yeah. Uh -huh. Not streaks, but it's like... Like texture. Pores? Like, like pores? Not, not smoothing. You're so mean. So you could see pores, is that what you're saying? Absolutely, darling. You're mean. No, you're I'm telling the truth. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna... Where is the sponge? Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. Set my foundation with this Cover FX, the powder foundation. I already used this one. It's, it's G50, so it's gonna be dark. So just warning you. Oh, I'm same thing. I'm gonna use this side with sponge and this with a brush. Oh, I'm supposed to put concealer first. Damn it. I forgot. I need something that's more yellow than pink, you know? It looks more natural on my skin. Ew. Excuse me. I'm drinking water, like... I Wait, hold on, come here. This side with, I mean, the sponge or this side with the brush? Sponge. Really? Yeah. Yeah, this one feels heavy. This one doesn't. It's so subtle. I know, it, like my, it looks so pretty. I yeah. mean, this one looks pretty too, but like this just. Yeah. Looks good. Okay, I'm gonna use the NARS Creamy Concealer. Not a lot, just a little bit. I'm gonna use the Rimmel Stay Matte to set my concealer. It's translucent, so it has no color. And now I'm using scotch tape. Okay. Okay. So before I do that, I'm gonna bronze my face using the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster in the shade medium to dark. And it's not even dark. And I'm using Sigma F25, by the way. For the eyes, I'm gonna use Anastasia Modern Renaissance. I just got it. I have 27% battery. Shit. Okay, I gotta do this really fast. Look at this. Ugh. It's so pretty. 
coming to my eyes. Ugh, it's so hard to take this off, see? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Imagine that on your eyes. Wrinkles. I hope it doesn't take my foundation off. If it does, then that's really unfortunate. Raw Sienna, this one. And blend it in my crease in the same brush that comes with the Anastasia palette. It's really powdery, it's really chalky. See that? Yeah. Hello? Thank you. But I mean, it's really pigmented, which is good. I think this needs to be here. Oh, you can see it. I'm gonna darken up the crease. Ooh, that, mm, that is dark. Holy shit. I'm gonna go back in with the same brush and blend it. Oh lord, this is... I, oh my gosh, I like this. I like this palette. And for my lids, I'm gonna use this shade. It's called... Realgar, Realgar. I'm gonna take the tape off. I think it took some foundation off. Do you see that? Which is, I mean, it happens all the time. But it doesn't look too bad. This side doesn't look bad at all. This side, mm, you can tell. But oh my gosh, look how sharp that line is. This side definitely looks better. Let me see if I could mattify the face. And I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte. I'm going to use my same old NYC liquid eyeliner. Okay, so I have my eye makeup on. Is it recording? Okay, yeah. Brow pomade in shade Ebony. And I'm just going to define my eyebrows. And I'm using the Anastasia brush number 12. And this is the new Jaclyn Hill and Becca collaboration face palette. If I can open this, there you go. This is so pretty. Milk Soleil chocolate bronzer and medium slash deep matte bronzer. Squeeze my brush, make it thin and contour my nose. See, it works. This shimmery pinky peach. It, I think it's called Rose Spritz. Such a cute name. And I'm gonna use Sigma F10. And just put it on my cheeks. To me, this looks like NARS Orgasm. Like same family. Peachy pink, shimmery peachy pink. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I like blush. Maybe I put too much. I don't care. Blend it. There you go. I'm gonna be using Prosecco Pop. I already have Champagne Pop. I have like three of those individual, individually packaged Champagne Pops. Ah! Already ruined it. See that? champagne pop better maybe because I'm like just so obsessed with the peach 
shimmery peach, whatever it's called. Like this is more gold and this is more peach and I like this one better. For some reason, I don't know why, I just do. Well, this is not too bad, I like it, it's really pretty. It's really pretty. See that glow? See that glow? Aww. So cute. Oh. It looks really good. I'm so happy I got all these products. Like I never thought I was gonna buy this one and then I saw it, I was like, they only have three left. Now should I buy this or not? And I'm like, you know what, I'm buying it. I love Jaclyn Hill. And I mean, this is so pretty, I like this. Oh, this is so pretty. Nice. I'm gonna highlight my, what, what do you call this? I'm gonna highlight this. For lips, I'm using Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in shade Stripped. And that's all. It's a perfect nude shade. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.